Batman number 51 Tom King writing mm-hmm. Lee Weeks on art and so obviously this is um, you can feel some of the emotional fallout of the wedding and his anger but mm-hmm. it's definitely focused on like a different plot right now um, and I'm, I'm curious actually what did, you, what did you, how did you feel about this issue Matt? did you like it? yeah I did like it because yeah. we, we talked a little bit before I got to read it and you're like yeah it's an interesting concept and yeah. so I, I started reading it and once I realized it was going to take place in a courtroom and how angry Batman was instead of 12 angry men it's one angry Batman yeah do, do you know what I love about this is that I think if, once you've read a couple of pages you kind of see exactly how it's going to end you know where this is going yep. yeah. that the, the, the premise of this story is that Batman has captured Mr. Freeze for the murder of three, three women. Uh, the first one who, because yeah. we see them all like lying there dead, the first one looks very Nora-esque actually, I thought, uh, with the blonde hair yeah. all sort of spilled out. But, uh, so Batman's tracked him down, he's beat the shit out of Mr. Freeze, and you can feel the anger, and you get that the anger, like the mm-hmm. reason why he's so enraged is because of the wedding, because it didn't happen. Like, you know, that's where he is yeah. emotionally. Um, but you, you, you hear Mr. Freeze on the stand talking about how Oh, like he didn't care that night whether I did or not. This wasn't the same Batman. He was angry, and I had to just, you know, I had to just confess because I, otherwise he'd have killed me. And Bruce is like hearing all this. We see him with the the, the the jury, you know, the rest of the jury, like out for lunch and stuff, and getting angry and ripping, you know, sinks or whatever off the wall in the in the bathroom. And I love this idea that the rest of the jury's like, oh well, Batman caught him. Batman saved his bunch of times. That's just all. Yeah, everyone he's guilty. Yeah. It's like, oh wait, one person didn't say that. It has to be unanimous. So it's 12 angry men, but the twist here is that the one person who's saying, no, I don't believe he's guilty, is Batman, who's the one who put him there in the first place. And this is, this is a story t- you can only do with something like Batman, though, right? Because typically, yeah. a police officer who arrests someone doesn't end up on the jury for said crime. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tampering. It's, exactly. You know? but but I have- love, so the one scene that made me realize, like, oh shit, was the commissioner gordon scene where he's on the stand mm-hmm. and the reason that he gave batman the green light is because batman had had given him like he'd done his own investigation and so the defense attorney is like yeah but batman's not licensed by the city or the state is he and gordon like hesitates and it's all done in this nine panel grid and at the end has he goes well no he's not and you're like oh gordon just got lawyered yeah he's got he's lawyered again uh, Bill looks so, on the stand at one point um, and again it's kind of showing you how violent Batman was being and the Batarang was kind of sticking in Freeze's cheek uh, and all the rest of it but I like it because it's, we understand why he's why he is upset we understand why he's feeling obsessed right now um, and I think the beautiful thing about this story to me is that Bruce kind of realises that as he's hearing these statements is he, he, he this is him learning that he has been ang- angry he did go overboard and this is him yep. dealing with that. So him putting his hand up at the end to say no, 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 like I don't believe he's guilty. We need to talk about this. Is like him yeah. can, admitting to himself, oh wait, I went too far, and we have to do this properly. Yeah. Um, I like yeah, that because a lot. he believes in justice. He, does. he doesn't believe yeah. in vengeance. And yeah. if and if Freeze is innocent, and he's locked him away for something he actually didn't do, despite of all the other stuff that Freeze has done, mm-hmm. then that that's a problem to Batman's mission. So I like how layered this was. And I'm, very, I'm expecting Connor to say he hated it because he's been very quiet whilst we have been praising it. No, no, I didn't. I, I like it well enough. I, I, I didn't love it to the same extent you guys clearly did. I thought yeah, it was pretty solid. Yeah, I thought a, the a art elevated it. A courtroom story though too. So the fact that we're doing it with Batman, it's like I can't think of too many other uh, courtroom stories with Batman. No, I I just, I love the twist on the class because obviously it's like it's, you know Twelve Angry Men. You see a lot of TV shows do Twelve Angry Men episodes where they'll have like you know Veronica Mars did it where she was the one person who's like no 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 that's not you know say say the the because because usually it'll be someone who's like like the jury will be like want to convict the the kid because you know maybe they're being racist maybe they're just assuming that this kid's guilty and then the one person no 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 there's evidence to suggest let's talk about this and, end, and by the end of the story they'll actually convince the rest of the jury that no there is reasonable doubt we can't convict this person right. flipping that on its head and having Batman the one who captured him in the first place being the one who's arguing yep. and saying no 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 wait a minute actually um, but having the emotional weight behind it because it's him realising that he was being angry that he scared him enough because he's being brutal because he's letting his yep. emotions get to him I think that's great. Uh, that, this is this is when King deals with the emotion behind something. It's when he's firing on all cylinders, and I think this was a yeah. this was a great issue of the run. I think. I agree. 
Fantastic. I think uh, I, I, I very much enjoyed seeing Dick Bats again, uh, even if yeah. it was briefly. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, King said he wants to make the a Dick asking how can I help his his thing. I'm all for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because if he has to, you know, Bruce Wayne has to play Bruce Wayne, then you can't have Batman not being out there. You can't just have Nightwing come and cover. Yeah. You know, it's got to be Batman. I, I, I do like how he has a, a, a plan for, for what he has to do. Also, yeah. I actually like the idea that he... Because, I mean, Bruce could sneak out of the motel if he wanted to. Like, he's Batman. Yeah. But he chooses to play by the rule and stay there mm-hmm. and just have, you know, deck cover for him. I actually kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. I also like that Batman rips the uh, urinal off the wall. Well, Bruce rips it because he's angry. Like, and... As someone that knows, that takes quite a amount of force. Yeah, like, I feel like it just raises some questions. Being like, you know, there's not that many people in this building. Who did this? Yeah, uh, that's that's. Those things don't just fall off. That's no. that's fair. That's fair. he can pay for it though. He can afford it. <laughs> um, he'll just. Oh well, yeah, but, but yeah, like... but then that's admitting that he did it. I mean, it's like why? And the grand sc- I scheme. I my watch. And the grand scheme of crimes, it's not like you know. He's, he'll make up well, some it's excuse. A misdemeanor, a misdemeanor at, the, at the very least. Vandalism yeah. in, the, in, the, in the the slightest. Yeah, yeah. but but no, I really like this. the art. I mean, Lee Weeks too. That's great. Like, oh, I love Lee. It's so it, it's very understated because yeah, the action sequences are there, but it's he the courtroom. It it feels like a courtroom movie. It's very cinematic in that way. You know, static shots. I, and whatnot. I, I think the the best page is the one at night. You know, in the in the in the room. Uh, with him just staring out the window, being, yeah. and, and you, know, you think he's going out to be Batman because he sees the bat signal, and then yeah. it's, it's obviously not him. He, he changes his mind. Sick. And of those, course, those panels of him reflecting on that. And of course, Gordon knows that it's not the same Batman. Yeah, that was established. Yeah, just Bat- immediate. Yeah, that was established yeah. back when he was Batman that he could tell that it wasn't oh. the same guy. Yeah. Um, one, one of my favorite lines of that entire run, actually, in Batman and Robin. Um, is when you, you, the scene goes like the, the Batman Gordon scene in the rooftop goes as normal and at the end of it Jim turns around and says he called me Jim like, you know because he, he keeps calling him Commissioner Gordon yeah. but Batman never did that Batman always called him Jim uh, I, I love that moment in that run so no, I like that that's, that's continuing that he still he, he still knows that it's not him uh, so no, I, I, this was a really great issue I'm loving what it's doing and this is probably just like a two parter maybe a three parter but uh, I, I think it's um it's, it's hitting a lot of points for me in terms of what it's doing emotionally for, for Batman um, and it's a pretty issue as well on top of that so uh, really good stuff uh, so let's rate, let's rate the book Connor rate, rate the Batman 51 uh, I'll pull it up a little I'll give it a 7.5 oh Matt oh this is 8.5 I enjoyed this just as much as Justice League yeah so, hell I'm going to go one step I'm going to go a 9 I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 there you go. I love this issue uh, this was great. After the win issue, which even for me was a bit murky in places, this was a nice, like, no, 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 we still got it, it's fine. <laughs> like, the run's good, it's fine.